we were trying to escape the dull reality of living in Norway. We like rhythm, we like disco. I guess it's a dream, you know, the perfect party. What were clubs playing before they got switched on to dance music? Mm, mostly shit music. Everybody was fishers or farmers or something. Skateboarding was illegal in Norway until the end of the 80s. We grew up at the age in the middle of it. Anything got on air, we would have been sued to death for, for most of the things that were done. Live sex and stuff like that being transmitted. Mm -hmm. Total anarchy. If we want to put out music, we can just do it. Most of the parties were illegal raves and underground parties. When people were crawling up on the roof and coming in by the ventilators and the roof windows to, to get in. And then it started just, you know, exploding. It sounded like nothing else, it sounded like magic. New disco, space disco, cosmic disco. For every release it went faster and faster. We are actually communicating with the rest of the world. Were you surprised that it was so successful so quickly? Astonished, yeah, really. Long periods of darkness combined with some beautiful nature, it's going to have some sort of effect on your psyche. This could never have happened here in the first place. It had to be a new generation to see the wonders of it. We were really trying hard to create our own little space. You could tell that something special was going to come out of there. That is the sound now, without without question. There are a lot of great Norwegian musicians about. They've had a very big imprint on music. Norwegian dance music has arrived. 